Hey guys, what up, what up, what up, what up? Okay, so this is another video. It's gonna be a really quick one. Uh, since I've moved to South Korea, I actually just started doing this. This is my second color, and I told you guys already, this is the shortest length of hair that I've tried this on, and yes, it does work. And also, I've been changing colors. I still haven't found a store where I can buy yarn, 100% acrylic yarn in South Korea, but I'm still on the lookout. If you guys living in South Korea right now, watching this video, please leave a comment down below where I could possibly find it, especially if like, you know, you live in the city Busan or something like that and you know exactly where I need to go, let me know. I feel like I'm introducing South Korea or South Koreans to something new and exciting. Out with the old and in with the freaking new. All right, guys. let me just show you guys how I do this. Some people, there are actually people out there that don't know this exists. So I'm just gonna show it to you. It's legit yarn that you use for sweater. So I did the other ones earlier and I'm just gonna finish this off. I'm not gonna do all three of them because it's gonna take a long time. So I'm just gonna do one for you guys. Here we go. My hair isn't all the way down here. So even if I snip it like this, guys, like don't freak out. My hair is not in there because my hair is like super, super short. So I'm gonna take it out. For you guys to see but when i cut it that short it just it saves me some time from you know unwinding the thread that's why it has to be 100 percent acrylic if it's not 100 percent acrylic that means it's gonna get stuck in your hair i don't take them out super quickly i swim with them i bathe with them i take showers with them whatever you want water can touch it it's just like a sweater you can wash a sweater and you can dry a sweater same thing with the hair when they get wet it can dry I, I do them so often now that I just automatically know where to stop, like, you know, to keep going. That's why I told you guys, make sure you click on the video so that you can see the detailed video. I cut them at the end. As you guys can see, I took the braid out. My hair is super, super short. So in order to give my hair length, you know, and some sexiness, I add the yarn in. It's your middle finger and your thumb. And then now, this is the part that you're gonna have to work out, is you're gonna have to know how tight to do like you have to do it tight enough because it's short hair but don't do it tight enough to give yourself a permanent migraine you guys can see i start off like this and then when i'm almost at the end i'm gonna split this instead of four it's gonna now become two and then incorporate the two the other two into the hair and so now we're just gonna work it as if we don't have short hair it's just long and ta -da. I tell you guys all the time, you can stop right here. You don't have to braid it all the way. It works. I'm just showing you guys the shortcut because nobody has time to be sitting here, you know, for hours upon hours. This takes a long time to do. So, you know, this alone took me three hours to do it. The only time I braided all the way was the very first time I did it. So then, of course, I have this. It's four. And I'm just going to show you guys what I do. I just pinch it with my thumb, keep it against the braid, and then you just start to wrap around, keeping the yarn in place. And then as you get lower, the yarn's gonna stick in place because you know you've gone over it several times, so you don't have to freak out. So when you get to the end, all you're gonna do what I do is I take the longest two and I go around, and this is just the one that you used to wrap, and then you go around the braid. Pull it through and then you want to knot it at the end and so there you have it you have it all knotted so that it doesn't loosen up and then you're just gonna cut the ends Voila. you have yourself a braid and you have a long hair all of a sudden okay and because it's summer if I ever get bored of this I can just take them out wash my hair and call it a day and then I have my short hair back that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I know it was simple quick easy if you have any questions pertaining to this process all you have to do is leave me a comment down below letting me know what your question is I try to get back to you guys as soon as possible thank you my champions for your love for your support thank you guys my newbies for freaking following me this is so awesome thank you for the love the support bye guys